Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make an outdoor chair or you can use it for your patio as well or you can even use it inside the living room, um, whatever works for you. So please stay tuned and follow the easy steps on how to make this beautiful chair. Here's a list of the tools that I use for this project. Um, it's nothing hectic, nothing intimidating, it's just normal standard tools that you probably have seen before. Uh, and if you haven't seen them, to make things easier for you, I'm going to link up a video that will give you instructions on how to use the different tools. Up next, you have the different wood cuts or the lumber that you're going to need for this project. Please feel free to pause this video at any time so that you can take down the different measurements. And also, if you're not comfortable working with millimeters, please convert to the nearest unit that you're most comfortable with. I'm so excited about this project, so get ready to build. Step 1. We'll be making the structural legs of the chair. For the structural legs of the chair, align your wood cut in this manner and also prepare to draw. After you're done arranging your wood, please use a tape measure or a triangle to measure the distance between the ground and also the base of your chair. In this case, I used a triangle to measure at about 150 millimeters for the base of the chair. Now start putting the legs of the chair together. The screws that I used is a 70 millimeters long screw and also I put two screws on each side of each lumber to keep it strong and steady. Please remember to share this video with your friends and your family or someone that you may know that may need to make a chair. Now that you're done with the legs, it's time to put the armrest of the chair. What I've noticed with my armrest is that it was slightly longer than I anticipated so I made a bit of a few adjustments to it. I used your traditional hand saw to, use, um, to cut through the wood. You can drill up your armrest and once you're done, you will be good to go. Also put two screws on each side so that it must be tight and secure. Step 2. In this step, we'll be repeating step 1 all over again until we end up with two of the same looking leg structures. Here's another tip. Please also consider pre-drilling your wood prior to you putting screws onto your wood. It makes it a whole lot easier. When I was putting my armrest, I think I went overboard and cut my wood way too much. But I improvised and put a tiny block to make sure that the edges are, are all flush. Now you are all done with your legs, you should have similar legs looking like this. Step 3, we're going to be making the base of the chair, which is the seat base. Align the wood cuts to make your base of the chair in this manner as demonstrated and please make sure that the corners are all in straight line position so that you're able to have a flush and straight line looking base. Once your frame is done, assemble the different wood cuts, the 600 millimeter wood cuts onto the top of your frame and please make sure they're in the straight line position and they're all flush. Now you can start securely tightening the base of your chair and you can put two screws or you can even get away with one screw on each side of the, of the base of the chair.
Hang in there, you've done most of the labor. So now it's time to put all the pieces together. Now you can start drilling the leg structure and the base together. Um, and also make sure that they're in a straight line position to avoid any lumping and movement in the chair. And also drill as many screws as you prefer until you can feel comfortable. There's no rule of thumb on this one. Repeat the previous step and also safely secure the base and also the legs of the chair. We are nearly there, right at the end. The last piece of the puzzle to put is the backrest. In this step, I would advise that you put um, clamps on each side to make sure that you're able to drill on both sides. Congratulations, now that you've done the hard labor, sit back, relax, and start thinking about the stains that you're gonna be using, the paint you use, and don't be afraid to take a risk. Step four, prepare to send your chair. In this case, I use an 80 grid paper, um, which I use, because that's the only one that I had at the moment. So I used, and then I repeated the process more than twice, so that I make sure that I have a finer finish on the chair and it also helped me to remove the stains that you can see the red markings that you can see on the chair Step five, prepare to stain or to paint your chair. This is one of my favorite parts because you get to be very creative and to paint any color that you like or you prefer or whatever works for your home decor. I'm just sealing this chair with a top coat. Um, it's just a clear coat that is both um, great for indoor or outdoor. Um, you can be creative on this one. So there's no limitations. You've done a great job. You're done with your chair. Um, now it's time to be creative. You can choose any different color, any paint, any stain that you prefer. Uh, do a bit of research, do a bit of reading and whatever works for you, um, go ahead and do it. And I'm so proud of you for doing this and sticking around. We have now come to the end of our project. Thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the project. Uh, please leave a couple of comments in the comment section and let us know what project you want to see next. Thank you so much.